Welcome back to Girl Games Wow, and this is Silvana, and this is going to be another special episode. So, I just put up on the website, up on YouTube, our newest episode, episode 7, about professions. And I went through professions really quickly, just a brief overview. And so I wanted to take a few moments and actually go a little bit more in depth. I'm not going to be changing the professions that we've already picked for this character, but I want to show you a little bit more about them, where they're at, and what they do. So the first thing is if you don't know your main city very well, you can go over to a guard. This happens to be an Iron Forge guard because we're in Iron Forge. And you right click them and it's going to pull up a whole list of things that you can get directions to. And since we're talking about professions, we'll click on professions. And this is every profession you can have. And remember, we talked about archaeology cooking, first aid, and fishing being ones that you can multi-stack, these do not count for your main professions. And then the other professions that do count that you only get two of, and that you can, what you can choose for those two between is alchemy, blacksmithing, enchanting, engineering, herbalism, inscription, jewel crafting, leather working, mining, skinning, and tailor. So I also want to talk about some professions go very, very well with other professions. Let's take blacksmith here. Okay, so if you want to blacksmith, you use bars to make items out of metal, weapons, shields, and armor. Mostly plate armor, but some male armor. But you need the metal bars to get it. And now so there's two ways to go about that. One, you can pick the one that seem, that ties with this as your other profession, which is mining. Then you can go out and mine the ore, process it, and turn around and use it for your blacksmithing. Same thing with jewel crafting. Jewel crafting, you break open ore to find jewels. So again, mining would be a very nice second profession to have with that so that you can go out, mine the ore, and jewel craft it. That way you don't have to buy it from the AH. And I will be making a separate episode, a second separate special episode, sorry about that, specifically about the AH. Um, some others that, again, go very, that are almost like made to go together are alchemy and herbalism because you use a ton of herbs in alchemy to make your potions. And the other one that herbalism goes with is inscriptions. Again, you use a lot of herbs to make the ink to make your inscriptions. Leather working, you use leather, obviously, to make armor. Some classifies as cloth, but most of it classifies as male. Uh, again, this is obviously made to go with skinning, or skinning is obviously made to go with leather working, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, tailoring. And this is going to seem a little weird, but I'll explain to you why. Tailoring goes very well 
with enchanting. The reason for that is, and since those are the two we have on this, I'm going to use our little things here to show to pull up. So when you make items, this one's a white item, so it wouldn't count. But some items, when you look at it, it'll have a green name uh, or purple or blue. Let's see if we happen to have anything on that. Uh, okay, this one. See how the name of the weapon is in green? It has to be any other color except for white. White means it's just a normal item and it cannot be disenchanted. So, when you have an item in your bag, you disenchant it for the dust and thing and shards that you use for enchanting. So these three buttons are for two professions. And they go very well together because you can tailor, you can make the items, you can use them if you want to, if they are better for you. And, or you can disenchant them and that way you're already picking up cloth as you level for your tailor. So you're just going to turn that into a cycle, you know, plus you're going to pick up items as you level to disenchant. You want to try and tie things together so you have to buy as little as possible from the AH. So when you go and I'm going to go where am I? Okay. Over here. See if I can remember right where it's at. I believe it should be in here. Okay, so here's the tailoring trainer. He's over in the corner. When you go to train, you right click the profession trainer. If it's your first one up here, it's going to have beginner and it'll be golden colored and the when you click on it, the train button will light up. Now, since we've already picked up the training for these, that the next one is what I can level, which is level 10, and I have to have my tailoring to at least 50. So here are the items that we will be picking up as you go, and as you mouse over them, you can look, okay? And I, if I move my mouse over, I, it, it's going to go off. So I, I'm going to call your attention to the right a little bit where it describes what this is, where it says, at the top it says, tailoring brown linen vest, reagents, bolt of linen cloth, coarse thread. That's what it takes to make it. Then underneath it, it actually tells you the stats of the item brown linen vest, you'll notice that's in white. Item level eight, or is that six, eight? That's what the item level is. It's a chest piece, it's a cloth piece, it's for armor and you must be, it says required level three, that means you must be level three or higher to wear it. Okay, so as you look down the list, where it says the actual item, name right above that gold item level, look for the ones that turn green. See how that one's green? When we get to there and can make that, we can disenchant that. Um, for the ones everyone can pick up, I've already shown you cooking and given you a a really good cheat of how to up your cooking to almost 50 to 40 quickly and cheaply. But if you want to pick up fishing 
fishing is way back here in the caverns. And I'll show you how fishing works. We'll pick her up. So right here, go up these stairs. You'll see here's a dwarf with a murloc pet. So you click him. And now this one is what I'm talking about. It's there. It golds up. Trading button lit up. We'll take the training. Okay. We're going to open our professions tab. That's the button. Okay. We're going to take our fishing lure, put it out on our bar so that we can go fish. You can buy a fishing pole. Uh, you used to have to have a fishing pole to fish. That is no longer the case. So when you're ready to fish, you find a body of water. Go up to the water. Right click your fishing lure. It'll throw it out in the water. Now you see the bobber is lit up. Mouse over it. Keep your mouse there. And watch it. You'll see it bob. Left click it. And you fished. And that's how you fish. So, uh, first aid. First aid. Where is it? You know, I don't know where first aid is anymore in IF. So, I'll show you how this map thing works for it. Okay. First aid. Now you'll notice there's a little gold arrow. But you can also hit your map, which is the M button, and look and see where that little red flag is. That's where you want to go. So, we're going to go up here. Now that we know where it's at, I should have remembered it's up by the alchemist in them. Of course. <laughs> right when I'm on the spot. Well, why, since we're right here, we'll take a little step down here. Because they are right here in Iron Forge. Here is your blacksmith trainer, and then over on that side of the of the wall is your mining trainer. You used to uh, with blacksmithing. You used to pick a specialty. They've kind of done away with that. I think they have for engineering as well. You could be either a regular engineer or a no mission engineer. And now I think you can just, you're just an engineer. I've never had an engineer, so I'm not 100% sure, but you can always Google that and find out. Okay, again, here's the first aid trainer. Now, there's a reason why I'm going to take this, is I'm going to end up getting a lot of cloth. And first aid actually takes cloth to learn. So, we're going to train it. And again, we're going to hit K to open up our professions. And we're going to pull out, which is left click and hold our first aid button. Put it right by our fishing. So that when we're ready to do our first aid, we're ready to go. So that's really just a more in-depth overview of professions, what they are, and how you learn them. What professions you choose are completely up to you. If you have any questions about specific professions, comment below. I have, except for, like I said, an engineer. I believe I have every other profession there is in the game. And on my other characters, the guild I'm in, my guild master has a engineer. So I can talk with him and see if we can't, you know, if you need engineering information, if you wouldn't mind doing a special video for that, 
Uh, otherwise, if you have a question about a particular profession, let me know. Or maybe when we do our new tune, if you guys want to see engineering all the way up, we'll pick that as a profession for the new tune. So that's everything today on how to do professions. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And this has been Girl Games Wow. Have a nice day.